Welcome back to Straight Facts by Denard Investor. Good afternoon. I'm smelling some strong BS in these news articles. The first article tells you that Mahdi is set to resign at dawn on Wednesday. That's about right now because they're seven, eight hours ahead of us. So that's about now. And yet a whole bunch of other articles come out telling you that a body's, I'm sorry, Mahdi, not a body, Mahdi is working on corruption, reforms, and everything else. So how can he be working on all this other stuff if he's resigning like right now, which is Wednesday at dawn in Iraq? We'll see. We'll know the truth to tomorrow. We'll see if he's still in position tomorrow or we'll see if he's resigned. You guys have a great day. Conflicting news about Abdul Mahdi's resignation and the formation of a transitional government at dawn on Wednesday, October 29, 2019. Yasser Ak Baghdad. Baghdad, Reuters, Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi is set to resign at dawn on Wednesday amid protests in several cities across the country and Sadr's leader Muqtada al Sadr has called for early parliamentary elections. Sadr to Abdul Mahdi, leave. Abdul Mahdi sent a letter to Muqtada al Sadr asking him to agree with the head of the Fatah Alliance, Hadi al Amiri, to form a new government, so that he could resign. His call for early elections in which he preserved the dignity of the Prime Minister, and that he called on Amiri to work together to change the Electoral Commission and its law and agree on radical reforms, including changing the provisions of the Constitution to put to the vote Sadr said in his statement that if the Parliament did not vote on it, the people should say go to Abdul Mahdi, as he put it. Baram Sali, no declared position and international conditions because of genocide against demonstrators. On the other hand, media sources said that President Baram Saleh held an emergency meeting with a number of heads of blocks in the Peace Palace in Baghdad to discuss several options to resolve the crisis, including the removal of Abdul Mahdi and the formation of an interim caretaker government, until agreement on the date of new elections, while sources denied close to the presidency of the news. According to political leaks, Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi is under various pressure from the political blocs, some of whom are demanding to resign, while his allies close to the Fatah alliance refuse to step down, and insist on the search for alternative solutions and exits to the crisis. The Prime Minister is preparing new reform packages. October 29, 2019 1916 the General Secretariat of the Council of Ministers unveiled new reform packages. A source in the Secretariat said in a press statement that other reform packages will be issued by Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. He added that these packages will be issued after the completion of reports and requests. Iraqi Parliament votes on the strongest reform package since 2003. Six hours have passed. In a session that remained open until late Monday night, the Iraqi Parliament voted on a package of resolutions and procedures which is considered the strongest since 2003, the beginning of the new political system in Iraq this session, which was delayed daily due to fears that the demonstrations will move from Terror Square to the Green Zone, was held yesterday with 222 deputies out of a total of 329 deputies, the Iraqi parliament. The bloc siren, which announced its transformation to the opposition and began an open sit and inside the parliament building three days ago, participated in the meeting the six deputies who announced their resignations from parliament and from different blocs also participated. Among the most important decisions taken were the abolition of the provincial and municipal councils in the districts and districts, which is the strongest blow to the local government in the country, which failed to perform its duties after its transition from service to political parliament also decided to form a committee to amend the Iraqi constitution. He also voted to abolish the privileges of the three presidencies and top posts in the country, while Saad al Matalbi a member of the Baghdad Provincial Council, considered that the decisions of parliament on the provincial councils are not binding and illegal, MP Abdullah al Karbat said in a statement to Middle East said that parliament is the house of the people, the highest legislative authority in the, the country, therefore, any law enacted or a decision taken by the legal and binding on the government, which now has to implement everything issued by parliament quickly. al Matalbi told Al-Shark al-Assad that the provincial councils will challenge this decision in the federal court, as it is not based on a constitutional basis stating that the provincial councils have a service role and perform their duties, and therefore abolishing it is not a solution. Karbik believes that the provincial councils ended their work for years, and their continuation is a constitutional violation, noting that parliament is determined to fully comply with the legitimate demands of the demonstrators. And in all fields and fields, he added that parliament will remain in session until the Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, or whoever authorized him, and with the laws and procedures that the government wants to have legal cover as well as the ministerial amendment that we await. These decisions and actions come in light of the escalation of demonstrations and protests in the capital Baghdad, 
and a number of central and southern provinces of the country. For his part, announced Saad al Hadithi, spokesman for the office of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, that the Prime Minister has a list of the change of some of the ministers, which will be submitted to the parliament once held a quorum. In a speech to the Iraqi people against the backdrop of the angry demonstrations, Abdul Mahdi announced on June 24 that he will make cabinet reshuffles next week away from the concepts of quotas, focusing on competencies and the independence of ministers and the increasing presence of women and youth. The federal Supreme Court has ruled on Monday not subject to the distribution of positions in accordance with the quota decision, stressing in a statement that the lists and political blocks to claim the positions of deputy ministers and the presidency of bodies and special grades and state organs according to their merit has no basis of the Constitution. The federal Supreme Court that walked contrary to the Constitution has created the so-called political quotas in the distribution of positions, and the resulting negatives affected the paths of the state and in the public interest. In addition, the Salvation and Development Front called for the importance of preserving the prestige of the state, away from the government or the interests of political forces front, in a statement received Ashraq al assad called on the government to resign, and the formation of an interim government includes figures accepted nationally and does not participate in the upcoming elections, and its duration does not exceed six months. The Front also called for the government to hold early elections, under the auspices of the United Nations in accordance with a new law to ensure the real representation of the people, and encourages wide participation. And by a new independent commission already, it also called for the adoption of a new electoral law based on multiple constituencies, and ensures the direct election of governors by voters, with the abolition of provincial councils, Middle East. Necessities of Economic Reform Tuesday, October 29, 2019. Free Membership. Economic reform is defined as clear, precise and time-bound plans, the instruments through which reform will be implemented. Aimed at reforming the country's economic institutions and the structure of the economic system and eliminating and eliminating problems that hinder the national economy. The process of economic reform is one of the most important processes that have been resorted to in cases of recurrent economic crises or recessions deficits and structural imbalances in the structure of the economic system, which requires work to repair these problems and crises and unhealthy conditions experienced by the national economy, which makes it it does not perform its tasks properly. Relying on economic reform to find appropriate solutions and work to restore the national economy to its normal and balanced state and to achieve the desired functions. The economic reform aims to avoid the imbalance in the performance of the national economy, which may be represented by the imbalances and deficits of the public budget. Stop wasting unnecessary expenses and reduce support to those who deserve it. Economic reform may also aim at structuring the structure of the economy in terms of relying on the export of a limited commodity or group of goods abroad and building the general budget on the basis of which makes them hostage to this commodity. Or a few commodities and exposes them to crisis situations in the event of low prices of these commodities in international markets. Work to make the national economy diversified resources and balanced in its dependence on multiple revenues and in a manner that compensates for the decline in the prices of any resource due to the financial crisis it may go through. Moreover, economic reform may aim to reduce dependence on foreign countries in providing agricultural and industrial products and commodities. And to settle agriculture and various industries this will reduce dependence on foreign countries and depend on the national economy to import and get rid of consumption only without production and shift to production at the expense of consumption. In our country, due to the dependence of the Iraqi economy on the sale of a single commodity, crude oil, our national economy has become hostage to the prices of this commodity in the world markets and the subsequent decline and successive rise, which is a weakness in the economic system, which requires work to diversify sources of income and revenue to reduce the over-reliance on imports and work to replace exports in order to reach the export stage. In the future, minimize unnecessary budgetary expenditures and encourage local endodontic leading to increasing domestic products of various types of goods and services, and the restructuring of the national economy, leading to the organization of the economic system reform in general and works to improve the performance of our national economy.